what was the inspiration? Why fashion? I think that I think that I started being interested in fashion and design through style. And what I also really very much enjoyed was the uh, sewing machine. I had a great curiosity for the sewing machine, and I grew up in my room. My mum had her sewing machine, and I thought that it was the most incredible machinery and tool that I could sort of explore. Technology in terms of the internet has certainly, you know, done something to the fashion industry. I, you know, when I did my first show, you were keen on getting uh, reviews in newspapers, you know, that came yeah. out the day after, yeah. or, or so, yeah. you know, now you have it literally, instantly. instantly. So how does that massive speeding up of the fashion industry impact a small fashion business um, as compared to a multinational fashion business? I think the one big thing is money. I have been teaching for the last 11 years at various colleges, but, but mostly at St. Martin's. And I can see the whole development of how much, you know, a home student has to pay to go to, to college. It's a struggle and I find it really sad because I think that along those lines you lose actually really hardcore core good talent. Where, where it ends up being that it's ending up being people with money again that, that has the opportunities. The interesting part of, for us to do, to work with people to was that it, it opens my eyes to other things. I learn things and I like learning things and, and it makes me, makes me open up my mind and my sort of view. I think that there's something to do with, with the way that people have to start thinking about, you know, we can see the weather. I mean, I don't think, I think we've only got ourselves to blame for that. And, and Greenland is having, you know, flooding and all the, you know, there's so many things going on that, that you sort of think, oh God, I mean, I, you know, maybe it's time to do something. I have to say, I'm very, I'm very keen on recycling, but I think that that comes from my upbringing. I, I you know, I come from Denmark. I remember when I when you and I was went to school, I you know, I always went on my you know you took your bike you know that was just how it was you know there was no way that your mum was going to drive you in your car to school I mean forget it you took your bike and that was that or you walked and now I can see geez I mean it's like a whole cascade and parade of humongous cars dropping off tiny little people in school uniforms now, <laughs> you know, where I live. And I just don't understand that philosophy. I don't understand that mentality. So the cat print, which is um, an archive print that we did for the Autumn Winter 04 collection, uh, where the muse was uh, Cindy Sherman and her murder mystery pictures. I think that that's where the cats come from. Do you like the fabric? I, I love it, yeah, absolutely. I thought that they were great, soft, you know, perfect. The soldier print comes from the autumn, that comes from autumn, from the autumn winter 10 collection, which, where the muse was Muriel Spark, the, the Scottish author. The print, well, I mean, I think it's obvious that it comes from the guard of, of, the, of the queen, and mostly, we tried to do a little bit of a combination of the English and the Danish guard.